Alright guys, Fuller coming to you with another video. I hope all is well with y'all. Um, hope y'all are doing well, taking care of yourselves, and, you know, living your best life under the circumstances, you know. What I kind of want to tap into is talk about the election results and, you know, talk about just the political spectrum of the, the country. And just also talk about the simple fact that, you know, my, my, my reflections that I have on the whole, you know, elections, things like that. First and foremost, you know, I hope y'all understand that no matter who's in there, they were sent to do a job. And that job has nothing to do with y'all being satisfied or y'all being happy citizens, you know, including myself. If that was the case, they would have dismantled this whole shit, started from scratch again. Because again, it's sad to say it, but I, you know, even before, I was, um, how should I put it? Before I was in the situation I'm in right now, obviously, yeah, you would think that, oh, if you go outside, you can't, there's a possibility you may get, you, you may get shot, you may die. It's a possibility you may get caught, you know what I mean? Because I was in South Central LA. You know, me moving a little, a little westward of South Central LA into a more like calmer area, I wouldn't think that you, that right, any day you can die. You know, but that's that thought still resonates with me due to all the police killings and due to the simple fact that you have a spike in, you know, hate crimes. So I still have that, you know, I still have that in the back of my head, like, damn, like, I can go outside today and maybe not return back to my house, you know? So that's thing number one, that even if Trump did win again, it still would be the same thing in which Biden is going to bring. Okay, Biden's not the end all and be all of this whole scenario. He's going to answer to someone and that person that he's going to answer to is going to be doing the same things that our, this country is known to do. Continue putting sanctions on con countries who are not compliant in in governing the way that this country sees fit in governance possibly escalate military action into different countries such as Syria Afghanistan and Iraq now mind you no troops have left Iraq as Obama said that he would get them out, none have left. They're still there. They're in a war that they can't win. The war with Afghanistan, they can't win that either. They've been there for more than a decade now, and nothing has been solved. As a matter of fact, I think they've been there since... Um, they've been in Iraq since 2003. It's now 2020, so like around 17 years. They've been in um, Afghanistan since, I want to say since 2001. So that's 19 years. And what has been solved there? Has Westminster democracy really restored that country? I'm just going to keep it all the way functional. 
You see what they did to Libya? You see what they're doing to Venezuela? You see what they're continuing uh, to do with Cuba? So whether it's a Democrat or Republican, they're still going to follow the same thing. You know? And another thing about the whole situation is these presidents are not going to talk and actually ask the common folk, hey, what, what do you have problems with? What do you need? What, what kind of things do you need in your area to revive it so it can be affluent, so it can be prosperous, so crime can go down? And so everybody in that area who was there before can be productive. The answer is not for investors to come in and buy everything and kick everybody out. That's not the answer to that. But that's what presidents believe the answer is for the most part. So... Another thing I want to touch on is the fact that everybody is happy that there's a um, a black vice president. The thing is about that is when you look at the track record of her, when you look at the fact that she's married to a Zionist Jew, Can you really expect her to be for you? If you're a common black person who's, you know, on the marginalized society. Like, do you think that she's gonna actually cater to you? Or is she gonna cater to what her husband wants, you know? And Zionists are racist, by the way extremely racist. The East Africans who live in, I want to say, uh, Israel, they get the worst of that racism. You know, I believe there's uh, an Ethiopian Jewish population over there, and they get it the worst. So for me, the way I look at things is that over the next four years, it will be more of the same. More wars, more sanctions, more police killings, more, um, how should I put it? more police getting off for those killings and the light thereof. The thing is about Joe Biden too is you have to understand that he, he himself doesn't like black people. The thing about all of these politicians is they'll smile in your face to get your vote. They'll take pictures with you. They'll say what you want to hear, but once they get in there, they just do what they're expected to do. And what they're expected to do is really nothing in your interest. So, on my on my end. think the best thing for me to do as a reminder of myself to myself is to create more resources for me and my people and not just my immediate family back at home in Africa you know 
but around the I want to say around the the areas that I frequent, you know. I think one of the things is, and I don't want to like talk about my place too much, but one thing I have to do is uh, basically establish some a line of comments with the Caribbean, you know, so I can we can help each other out, you know what I mean? So they can have some things going for themselves. And I can give to another black economy rather than give to uh, this economy, you know. That's the main thing. So I think it starts with, you know, economics is very important with this. Politics and economics go hand in hand. And... The thing is about it is the, the thing is about it is I want to say that I want to say that that's how these people get in office anyway. You know, as I said, I really can't vote as it is because I have a green card. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, how should I put it? People may say the votes count. People may say that your, your voice matters, but it really doesn't in the scheme of things. Because if your voice mattered, would, would you, let's just say with the Obama presidency, would, would you would you tell him, let's say if Obama, let's, let's hypothetically speak. If Obama said, you know what, I'm gonna bomb Libya. You know, if he told you, I'm gonna bomb Libya and you had the voice to speak and say, well, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you'll create, you'll send the country into uh, a bad place where, you know, their unrest would be even at a higher level. And he, and he listened to you. He said, well, okay, you're right. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Then, you're talking about a democracy, a real democracy, okay? But, if he just, if these presidents, they just decide they're gonna do something anyway. Even if you're against it, even if the masses of people are against it, they're still gonna do it. So, is that really a democracy? You know? And you say freedom of speech. People talk about, oh, you know, America, you have freedom of speech and this, that, and the other. Now, how come black police officers were fired because of them speaking out on the racial injustice in their police department if there's freedom of speech? Answer me that. You know? So, I'm just going to end this by saying I really don't care who was to win the election. Right? But, just know that the cycle is going to continue. This vicious cycle that is already in place is going to continue no matter who is in power. Okay? That's just the bottom line. I'm pretty sure that Biden has no intention of alleviating 
what Trump did to Venezuela, what Trump did to Cuba, and things like that. I don't think they do. Hell, I think it's a matter of fact, they're gonna, they, the whole Caribbean, as a matter of fact. This is the thing about the Caribbean, and this is why I feel so strong about the Caribbean being, uh, you know, uh, African. Number one, uh, my kin folks were, you know, either A, they were, you know, taken there, unfortunately, as prisoners of war, right? Or B, they went on voyages and discovered it. So, you know, you have a lot of descendants from Fulani, my tribe, Mandinkas, Hausas, Yorubas, Ebels, Akans, Wolof, Soninke. I can go on. Um, shoot, Bambara. I, I can go on. The list goes on. Right? That arrived in the Caribbean islands. But another thing is this. United States has always treated the Caribbean as a backyard to do what the hell they want and not necessarily what it needs, right? I say this to say that I'm of the impression that because I see the, I see the currents in the Caribbean and I'm letting you know right now a lot of Caribbean countries are kind of leaning towards what Grenada was leaning towards before under Maurice Bishop they're kind of going in that direction you know a lot of the country like for example um, Dominica is going in that direction Antigua is going in that direction now recently St. Vincent's and Grenadine is going in that direction and so if these currents continue I guarantee you this country will have something to say about it. And so that's why I mention it, you know? And I'm just gonna end this video by saying, I really, truly don't believe that this country has, cares about another country's sovereignty if they're not benefiting from it. That's why I truly believe. No matter if it's a Democrat, no matter if it's a Republican, no matter if it's a liberal, no matter if it's a conservative, no matter if it's a social Democrat like Bernie Sanders, no, no matter what it is, you know, it's all the same difference. They all answer to someone someone else. And it's sad to say it, but I think the, the main, uh, the main cons person conspiring all of this is Israel. I I am of the belief that this country is not even controlled by you know people in this country. I am of the belief that this country answers to Israel and that this country answers to Zion, Zionism. That's what I truly believe. That's why the like these practices are becoming normal like certain practices that weren't normal before are all of a sudden becoming normal you know I think these orders are given by someone else you know so with that being said I mean my personal opinion is if 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 this country was really a country of democracy then they would just have th this whole system would be redid you know that's all i gotta say this whole system would be turned out done over again but with that being said, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the elections. Let me know if you voted. 
look, let me know if if any of my followers voted, you know. And I appreciate y'all for still rocking with me, you know. All, I don't put out as many videos as before, but I am going to start putting out more content. Um, I've just been working on some a couple of projects, you know. I have, you know, I, I'm a guy who is always about, you know, tackling some new objectives and things like that. So I've been working towards those things. But also what I'm gonna do, and I'll probably do a video, a reaction video on this. I'm gonna post my link to this one new app called Tell On Them or something like that. And I'm gonna post it at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is y'all, if you guys want, y'all can tap in and ask me some questions. And then I'll answer those questions on the YouTube. You know what I mean? But anyhow, man, let me know your thoughts, your comments about this election and what y'all think, you know, about the whole thing. And let me know if y'all are actually happy that, you know, a, a black woman is vice president, considering that, you know, there have been black people in the White House before, Condoleezza Rice being one of them. So, just let me know what y'all think, man. But, Pula signing out. Catch you on the next one. The next one will, will maybe boxing. The next one may be soccer. Because we have some unfortunate developments in the world of soccer. You know. But anyhow, man. That's all I got. Pula signing out. Mm -hmm. Shout out.